Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'm here back to this place with your 14 tips for cutting hair better. This is tip number 11. We're gonna work with dry hair and how to prep the hair for dry cutting. I remember in beauty school, I would go uh, talk to my teachers and you know, you would get that cut, that person that wanted a dry haircut. And basically what you would do is just cut their hair the way they walked in. It was a quick, easy 10 minute thing. But really professionally, dry cutting is not about that. It's about the prep of the hair, getting the hair to a certain point to where it's gonna be great. No matter how you cut it, it's gonna fall the way that the, you're gonna see the weight, how it shifts and, and everything else. So let me just talk to you about how we prep this. Drea went in and, and made this look beautiful. Um, we like to thank uh, Hair Art for the mannequin. So they kind of gave us all these mannequins to help do the 14 tips. So we really appreciate that from them. Um, so we took our mannequin here. We, do, we did a flat wrap blow dry. Basically what that is, and you can see it in the, uh, the blow dry video that we did before comparing the two blow dries, but it's really all about sectioning. So what we did was we sectioned it off into four sections, front and back. So real standard beauty school sectioning. We start in the back. Let me just comb her hair out of the way. So we have our parting there. And then all we're doing is taking, let me turn the blow dryer off, taking our blow dryer and just leafing the hair. What that's doing is pulling tension on the hair. So it's going to smooth out from the base to the mid shaft. Don't worry about the ends when you're smoothing hair because really our main goal is get that mid or the base to mid shaft smooth work through the hair using your leafing technique, pulling the tension, and then from that, you could just smooth the ends with an iron. Um, that's really the goal, and you want it, every little bit that you comb down should be nice and smooth. So um, I think the, the main thing you're gonna notice and the struggle you'll have when smoothing hair is really working at the base, because a lot of times as hairdressers, we just go in and we start blow drying, work our way around, and who really cares what's underneath here because no one sees it. Well you know, that's something that from a professional standpoint, you need to work the underneath of the hair as well. So even when you're going through a flat iron, section the hair away, work your way up from the bottom to the top, and you'll have a much smoother mannequin to work with. In the next few steps of this 14 step series that we did, uh, we're gonna work with dry hair cutting. So you really need to work on your polish. I like using the Vest 2000 brush. It works really well. The bristles have a lot of grip um, and you know, it just, it just really flattens the hair out and, and creates a lot of great tension in there. So, um, you know, hopefully you enjoy the next few videos that we're gonna do. Dry hair cutting is, is a really cool thing. It's a great way to finish and polish a haircut off. So enjoy the next tips. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. FreeSalonEducation.com and we'll see you on the next video.